the Emerald Ash Borer, and this is my story of how I journeyed to America and became an invasive species. And how we can help save the ash trees! Man, there is nothing to watch today. Oh, let's watch Ghostbusters. That is so 1985. Hey, this looks interesting. program. My name is Timothy Sininger and I will be your host. We start our journey in Eastern Asia with the emerald ash borer living in balance with its natural habitat. This beetle's population is kept under control by limiting factors such as climate, food, and predators. Alright, get out of my way! I'm here to take that tree down! Here we go! Let her rip me! <laughs> It's going timber, it's going down. Humans live off the land, just like all other creatures. The main difference is that humans can move materials far beyond their natural borders. This emerald ash borer, like the zebra mussel and the Asian longhorn beetle, was unintentionally brought over to the United States. Upon arrival in the United States, the emerald ash borer population grew at a rapid rate. This was due to a lack of natural predators and environmental factors, which kept its population controlled in Eastern Asia. The emerald ash borer works its way through the ash tree's bark, killing them in as little as two to four years. According to the DEC's report in 2016, the emerald ash borer has killed hundreds of millions of ash trees in the United States since its discovery in Michigan. New York State Parks have been severely impacted by the invasive species known as the Emerald Ash Borer. Today we have two members of the Excelsior Conservation Corps with us. They will be working alongside groups such as the DEC and State Park in order to help stop the spread of the Emerald Ash Borer. Tell us, is there anything that we can do in order to help save our ash trees? Of course. Early detection is crucial to saving our ash trees from the emerald ash borer infestation. When you encounter an ash tree, be sure to inspect it closely for signs and symptoms of an emerald ash borer infestation. Some of these signs include things like dormant buds in the tree trunk which produce shoots. They occur due to unusual amounts of stress. D-shaped exit holes in the bark of the tree. S-shaped galleries or pathways where the ash borer traveled beneath the bark. Identify ash trees in New York by looking for opposite branching of the limbs, as seen here. Very few trees in the Northeast have this characteristic. Also look for a compound leaf, with five to nine leaflets per leaf. If you notice these symptoms on your ash trees, contact the New York State DEC. If you have other questions or want to learn more about emerald ash borer infestations, check out the New York DEC website. Thank you, Excelsior Conservation Corps, for joining us today. It was our pleasure, but excuse us, conservation calls. We hope this film has given you a new perspective on invasive species today and how you can make a difference. Wow, I never knew invasive species could have such a big impact. Those emerald ash borers seem to be a real problem around here. 
I'm gonna keep my eye out for them. So wait, who are we supposed to call? Ghostbusters! No, the DEC! Who are those guys? It's just the Excelsior Conservation Corps.